Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust or reduce or increase the amount of hardware reserved RAM in Windows. So basically, if you want to know what is hardware reserved RAM in Windows, basically it just refers to your system RAM that is set aside by the operating system for hardware components. So if this memory is not available for use by different apps or programs on your computer itself. So generally speaking, you really don't usually need to mess with it too much. However, if there are certain instances where you do need to adjust it, like maybe too much of your RAM is unusable or there could be some sort of system corruption issue, you might have perhaps made some sort of BIOS modification that is not desirable. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make those adjustments. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Do want to point out, you probably want to create a system restore point before you adjust these settings. And you just want to be cautious of what you're doing. You're messing with system files here, so just keep that in mind. So with that said, open up the search menu and type in msconfig. Best results should come back with system configuration. Open that up. Select the boot tab. And then you want to select advanced options. Where it says maximum memory, make sure that is unchecked. So do not have that filled in. And then you'd be able to adjust the BIOS buffer size. If you looked up your specific computer manufacturer, you should be able to find detailed instructions on that. But you may have to uncheck that option to begin with. So once you're done with that, we can close out of there. You may also want to configure your virtual memory settings as well. Sometimes the two phrases are used interchangeably. Usually that will be configured more often than the hardware reserve memory. So just keep that in mind. It really shouldn't need to be adjusted in either case. Most systems have enough RAM nowadays. You don't really have to mess with any of these settings. But if we would open up the search menu and type in advanced system settings, you can go ahead and open that up. And then underneath the advanced tab, performance, select the settings button, select advanced. And then you can select the change button under virtual memory to adjust the paging file of your computer. If you want to uncheck this top option, it'll allow you to manually change the paging file size by selecting the custom size circle in here. You can type in an initial and maximum size. There's different schools of thought as to how large you want this to be. A lot of people in the past would suggest that the initial size should be one and a half times the amount of physical RAM you have on your computer in megabytes, so 1,024 megabytes in one gigabyte. And then you would multiply that by 1.5. And then your maximum, a lot of times, would be double whatever that value is. So that would be the range in here. And then you would select Set, and then OK. And then you would need to restart your computer before the changes take effect. I do not want to set a custom size here on my computer here, but pretty straightforward process on that. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.